In my videos, I try to make them informative as well as entertaining. And in this video, I will lean towards the informative side. One of the most common questions I get from people who find out that I keep tarantulas is, aren't they poisonous? So the correct answer to that question is no. Tarantulas are not poisonous. But they are venomous. And there is a difference between poisonous and venomous. So today I'd like to talk about the difference between venom and poison. And now both venom and poison have toxins. Toxins are what wreak havoc on our bodies. Now the difference between venom and poison is how it is delivered to the victim. Venom is injected and poison is ingested. Venomous animals have active systems for delivering and or injecting their toxins through the use of fangs, spines, spurs, etc. While poisons are either eaten or absorbed and typically used by the animal for protection purposes only. So snakes, tarantulas, scorpions are classified as venomous because they inject their toxins into their victims. While mushrooms, frogs, and plants are considered poisonous. Now because this is a tarantula's web and tarantulas are venomous, I will be mainly talking about venom. Now there are many types of venom, but two of the most common are hemotoxic and neurotoxic. The hemotoxic affects the blood and the neurotoxic affects the nervous system. So some people may ask how venomous are tarantulas or how strong is their venom? There is one test that helps with answering this question and that's the LD50. In 1927, a chemist by the name of J.W. Trevin created a system for determining venom potency. He titled it Lethal Dose 50%, or what we call LD50. And how J.W. Trevin conducted his experiments, and what he would do was he would give his test subject a toxic dose either orally or by injection. Then if half of them died or 50% died, then what he would do was document the amount given. And when I say test subjects, I'm talking about mice and rats. So the lower value of the LD50 needed to kill off 50% of its test subjects, the more toxic the substance is. Unfortunately, for the test mice, I'm sure thousands were used to come up with the LD50 charts we have today. But all this was done in the name of science. Ah, uh, look at this. He looks like he wants to eat his cricket out of his container. Now, I know the camera ain't doing this uh, spider must justice, but this, uh, after a molt, this uh, Brachiopelma vegans is a very beautiful spider. So I'm also very excited to put my uh, new slings on this uh, Venom video. And I knew they were hungry because they would, uh, these Nandus actually sit just uh, at the opening of their hide or their coconut shell. And um, which is a good indication that they're actually anticipating a prey atom to walk by. In preparation, what I do is I remove the back jumper legs of the cricket. And this actually significantly decreases the probability of the cricket getting away from the sling. The cricket's natural 
defense would be to actually release the leg. So all that I really do is I grab uh, a pair of tweezers and pinch the back legs. Make sure you pinch the leg, not pull the leg. Because if you pull the legs off, you will you'll pull the insides of the cricket as well. Jeez, look how adorable these uh, Nandu Colorado Velosa slings are. They are just absolutely spectacular. And they're aggressive eaters as well. And this looks like a wrap on this video. Thanks for watching.